Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robot campaign. <clears throat> it is time for the very last missions on this campaign. Today we're going to invade the Chosen Stronghold because he's a prick and he deserves to die. Uh, we're going to do that with a kind of new setup. Uh, I have read in the comments that people were interested in seeing more and more robots and more and more robots it shall be. Today we're going to invade with five robots and a storm. So this is truly rise of uh, the robots. Not much else to say really. Uh, sparks are nicely stacking up with one another. I mentioned it in an earlier video. Uh, where if you do have an all-around class and you combine it with more and more all-around classes you end up with yeah guess what a pretty well-balanced team no matter what it takes no matter what it takes uh, look at that we just landed there is no doubt in my mind that it is from the chosen then that's where we need to be and just like the last time i would almost love to break down these walls should have skilled wrecking ball and just just run through all of uh, the walls uh, to get towards the ascension chamber anyways we don't have that luxury so let's begin to move things are really similar to a normal mission we're just moving up in a fire line one little repair <clears throat> To kick things off that way everybody is topped off and other than that we are uh, overwatching and getting ready i'm pretty sure we're going to engage the first pack within the next room might as well open the door it's a free action to do so nonetheless charging in and there's the first pack. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's no, we were not out. expecting to sneak in. That's a pretty accurate statement. Good. Moving over. And quartz here. I think we can simply take normal shots. I would like to give the kill to Quartzius nonetheless, so maybe one of uh, the leveled up Barks can go in. Glaive in this case. Starting to soften him up. Very nice. And Spear gets another kill. Getting him all so much closer to a promotion. One overdrive, <laughs> because there is the possibility to one shot. I don't see you running anywhere. But I want to do it from a flanked position. That to me. Good. The only downside here is that Storm didn't really get his focus up and the other downside is did i just maneuver us into kind of a corner oh okay i see how it is that was the wrong side all along hilarious Good. We have a massive hangar on the other side. Which means uh, that was merely a nice little warm up at best. The power guides me. And we're instead going to Overwatch. This room will probably. <clears throat> show us a couple more enemies all 
All right, that was a solid misclick. There we go. And oh, let's open this bad boy. Well, isn't that a surprise? We did not even trigger. <clears throat> this here might trigger. There's often a tower here. Hunter certainly triggers. Very nice. All right. Time for some overdriving. And let's start with the heavy mac. Reading it down. Everyone else is in full cover. How about we are... How about we're moving in a bit deeper? Still trying to resolve that whole thing here without using... Um, much of our cooldowns or consumable items for that matter. Good, so that is two down. Moving in. Ooh, look at that. We're going to get the stun lancer. And Spear gets his second kill. Getting closer to a promotion. Good, we're moving up. And this might be kind of a two for one situation. A little bit of lightning hands. That could drop. No, it did not. It could have dropped focus. This here is definitely going to drop some focus. Good, we're out of two out of three. Gotta feed one more kill to Storm. Leveling up Storm will be important as well. That probably should give even more kills to her. Good, we used one explosive. To think I once considered myself a part of your race. You seem so small, so narrow of purpose. You do not deserve the elder's attentions. Good, we're moving. We're moving all the way, I think, over to here. For now, we're just going into full cover and we're all pushing. It would be fantastic if another pack just moves in. Good. We're moving up. Same principle as before. Nice little cluster. There is an open door that indicates a pack has been coming through here. Enemies don't use uh, to explode uh, environmental items, so we shall not be afraid. Just standing next to the explosive tank. I'm on my way. 
Elsewise, this would be a horrible position. Um, uh, the absolute worst. Good again. No contact. We're moving up ever so slightly. Maybe it was the pack that we've eliminated the Mac plus three. Good. We're taking high ground wherever possible. Okay, I misclick that. There we go. Take some cover. Good. Next one, we're breaching this door. Again, it would be absolute hilarious if someone would be coming through. I would love to see how five sparks begin their reaction shots. Okay, so... Don't need to reload yet. Good, let's open the door. Are we finally getting some contact? Oh, yeah. A lot of contact, that is. We're looking at eight. That's a lot of chrysalids. Luckily, we're blocking the entire door, so no one can come through. All right, that was just Hunter triggering. Fantastic. Good, let's overdrive a little bit. Just out of curiosity. Ooh, ooh. Gotta love uh, that Hellfire projector. You know, it's not the optimal turn, but I want to use fire. There we go. That's pretty damn good. Starting to clean up the rest. Very nice. All right, Quintius uh, moves in. Just want to make sure that we have an opening so that Storm can move in next. And let's see if he can kill some. Yep. Oh, that guy dodged twice. Not bad. Good. We're going to start with... Uh, Free shot. Ooh, we're still blocked. Okay, good. Fair enough. Movement engaged. 
Overdriving. Let's clean some of these guys out. That's a 100% kill. And it was the next dodge of this guy. Unbelievable. Good. Storm can still not enter. Wow. Okay, we're trying that yet again. Okay. Well, that's going to be a bit more complicated. How about... Like, going all the way over here. Yep, that looks like an idea. And that's a two for one. Let's parry. And the Bladestorm will probably make it a three for one. Okay, that's 100% hit. Movement request confirmed. Vector's moving in. And we're about to finish these guys. No life signs detected. I am the focus of their attack. Good. Got three solid kills. And boy, oh boy, that was great. I wish they would uh, come in bigger clusters. Maybe uh, just one small mod to add to, uh, to the game. Kind of a chrysalid onslaught, or I think the mod is called The Hive. I am certainly not the best person to talk about mods. I'm usually playing the game without. But I think it would be interesting uh, to see a bit stronger chrysalids with the robots we have the perfect counters so even if they could have done anything or even if they would have survived our initial alpha strike they really couldn't have done much to the heavily armored robots Getting a fire line going, and there's still a pack around. So I am careful. There might be another pack back in there. Okay, there seems to be no further pack because uh, no alien movement has been detected. Which also tells me we can simply begin to move up. Okay, so far so good. We used only one shredder gun and a hellfire projector for fun i think it was the right momentum to use that hellfire projector just because chrysalids are a valuable target to hit and if you can hit like three or four at a time that's even better let's ascend and see what the warlock has to say in his defense very well we just ascended there's some nice little high ground up here, so... I feel Almost the optimal position for us. Let's trigger the first pack. Oh yeah, Hunter triggers yet again. And it triggers twice. Fantastic. Fortunately, misses twice, but still.
Good, we're starting with shortly, uh, shortly getting them further and further softened up. I don't think we need any cooldowns for those two clowns. Good, we're using Storm. Continue feeding kills to her. Nice, and we got ourselves a uh, superior PCS agility, which is good. I like it. High ground. Oh yeah, that's that's how I like it. 100% hit chance. Perfect. Dagger begins to jump up as well. Yet another 100% hit chance. And we're done. Good. Reloading. Begin reload sequence. Reloading now. Now reloading. Rearming. And we're reloading everyone. Good. I would say that this here is probably going to trigger the Chosen. Nope, it's not. Good, in which case, this here should not be a problem. Okie dokie. Let's get it going. I will comply. And guess who's back? It is the Warlock. All right. We faced these things before and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. That is so true. Overdriving. Not sure if this is indestructible terrain. But Bombard will figure it out. Because Bombard usually removes all of the terrain. It's indeed indestructible. Not the end of the world. Let us start hitting the sky. We'll wait with our overdrives. I do have something planned for the overdrives. So in other words, using one is okay, but I want to save all of the other overdrives for an... Uh, Explosive finale, shall we say? I can admit when I've made a mistake. Physical exertion outweighed. All right, time to hit the warlock and time to hit him well. We're immune against his mind controlling shenanigans. Proving our chances of critting him by flanking. Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. There will be no mercy for you. 
Good. We could have easily killed him in one round. But, like I said, I wanted to keep the cooldowns. There we go. If he moves, he'll take another hit, which might even finish him. Well, that'll be two Bladestorm attacks. Oh no, they are overwatching, all right. And he's using the only abilities that do not trigger uh, the Bladestorm attack. Uh, well, you know how it is. Sometimes a plan sounds great in theory, and when you go through it, it kind of doesn't sound that great anymore. I wanted to save all of uh, the cooldowns because I just wanted to obliterate the sarcophagus. But now we're in a situation where that's potentially no longer possible. Trying to minimize the amount of uh, cooldowns that we're using. First things first, let's get rid of all of the cover here. All right, that's almost a kill on all three of them. Secondly, Let's get rid of the Overwatch. Uh, I would love to continue staying near to the Warlock. That would be three kills for just one utilization of an ability. Let's kill those guys here first. So we got one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Servos engaged. Moving in range. Next up, time to kill the Max. So we got yet enough shots. I need to draw another overdrive. Wanted to not use it. But like I mentioned, gotta be a bit careful. The idea was the right one, but the Warlock effectively countered really well with uh, using both of his abilities. Do we have a superior stock? Yes, we do. That means this here is a kill. Will the death of this one change anything? The mark betrays you. Good, that's three kills. And we're moving up. 
killing this guy. Good there, to earn this another promotion. Let's sh oh, he does not trigger Overwatch. I almost forgot about that. Well, fair enough. Now he's out of cooldowns. Too bad for him. Very nice. And this here should end his terrible, terrible existence. I'm on my way. Good. He was a bit tougher than expected. Uh, again, if you use the cooldowns for alpha striking, he wouldn't even have had cha a chance to use all of his abilities. I wanted to be greedy and use uh, the cooldowns to basically kill his sarcophagus in one turn. That was the fun idea that I had planned. And with overdrives that usually uh, would work out super well. Unfortunately, he had a lot of summoning abilities. And now we're still going to kill the sarcophagus, don't get me wrong. But it's just not going to happen that fast. Cool part is if you do have three shots and all of them like hit for eight to ten hit points. This uh, thing is melting like butter. Look at it, even with one overdrive, it's still just melting incredibly fast. Good. We're looking at a lot of damage, just not, <clears throat> just barely not enough. To immediately kill it. Alrighty. time to kill both of them and yeah we don't have enough movement that's unfortunate what we can do though is although it's a bit wasteful we can kill both of them with a blaster bomb the Warlock is immune to explosion damage anyways. This unit is now reloading. There we go, Sarcaphagus is almost down. Notice how I am reloading before taking shots just to keep full max. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes. The, good. the Warlock could Spawn here. Who knows? Watching. It wouldn't really matter because he has Shadow Step, so can't really hit the Warlock with Overwatch, anyways. And there we go. He's back. We have Shadow Step. Yes, we do, which means this here is not triggering anything. Yeah, I think we're just going to go in and we'll try to hit him. 
Lightning Hands is more Hail Mary play. Good. Moving up. <coughs> it's not triggering his Overwatch. There we go. Unfortunately, he had a lot of armor, so couldn't really do much about that. We're now, of course, going to shred him. There we go. Nice little crit. We might even get him down this round. Good, he's completely shredded thanks to the awesome weapons of the Sparks. Shred on hit is just incredibly strong. No chance for us to directly see him without cover. Might as well move over here. Doesn't matter, we don't have aiming angles, so full cover is full cover. That was a nice little hit. And this might be the killing blow. There we go. Wall of down. The only regrettable mistake was probably to be too greedy and wanting to kill the sarcophagus in one go. It would have been an, uh, an attractive uh, maneuver if it would have worked out. But yeah, we ended up blowing our cooldowns then to repair um, the fight against him. It is what it is. Operation Knife Star was a grand success. We killed it. Five sparks for the win. Perfect. She is now shaken and unfortunately yet not another promotion. Too bad. We are leveling up the sparks, but we're not going to continue. Uh, we have a little wrecking ball. Um, some of you commented about it being a strong ability, and I do agree, it's pretty good. Uh, when you overdrive, you can run through walls. Uh, that indeed is free cover removal, and free cover removal is always good. That's why what we came here for, the Warlock's Disruptor Rifle. And uh, that is a pretty strong weapon. It has the hidden ability to always crit on psionically active characters, so that in itself makes it just fantastic. 27 dodge is beyond great. I like that. And we got our wall of weapon. Cool. Uh, no, we're not going to bond rando soldiers. Archon King, Autopsy, yeah, let's do that. And afterwards, we're going to go with the Warlock Rifle. <clears throat> and we're going to build both of uh, those bad boys. Let's see what else we wanted to do. Probably not much. Like I said, we're at the end of this campaign. So just need to research uh, the items and then we'll give it a go. We got enough resources to build all of it, and then we're done, done. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. Got another Plasma Blaster. Not what I was hoping for, but we got the Archon King Research, which uh, gives us uh, the... Uh, mm, the breakthrough for um for the icarus armor and that is a bit unexpected but maybe i am going to take that this is an improved uh, beam weapons breakthrough meaning one additional point of damage for all plasma weapons 
And I sort of cannot say no to that. Sorry, guys. But I'm a uh, sucker for a lot of damage. So, we got all of that covered. Let's build items in the... in the proving ground because this is where we get our icarus suit from yes please we got enough cores so might as well get another powered weapon uh going and let's also upgrade the armor here i think we needed to upgrade the icarus armor I might be wrong. You definitely need to upgrade the weapons, but no. Uh, it seems to be not the case. Even better. Let's equip that bad boy. Roby already has the proper armor uh, donned. Now, here is the fully upgraded Roby. There we go. See this thing through to the end, no matter the costs. Mimic beacon, blue screen rounds. Damn it, that is a highly, highly upgraded soldier. Holy crap! Even with him uh, being not uh, the highest tier due to the um, training bug. With the armor, we're still... He's still a force to be reckoned with. Good. So, we gotta finish uh, the research for beam weapons, and then we gotta finish uh, the warlock weapon. And it offers us the option for a nice little sweet short mission. Nothing... Well, that one here. Oh, wow, that's a protect the device mission. Uh, gotta hate those. You know what? I'll think about it uh, the next time. Uh, I apologize if you were hoping for a quick end in the campaign. I'm still on it, uh, but those, those improved beam weapons were too... I'm too greedy to let that pass by. So six more days and uh, the research for the... Um, the research for the... Um, Warlock weapon will probably also take another two or three days, but then we're done, done. We won't kill him. He'll be on the last mission and that's okay. And everything else pretty much okay as well. We do not have any more breakthrough research that is relevant for us. Very good. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Maybe it is another shot for Storm. No, she is shaken, so it's definitely not another shot for Storm to get the Colonel rank. It is what it is. But we can use our newfound Sparks. And maybe we use the, uh, the newfound Sparks and a few Rookies just to make uh, the mission a bit uh, more interesting. That way you get some endgame uh, content uh, with Rookies. Also not the worst. And yeah, we're going to see each other in the next uh, mission. Probably one, maybe two more missions. And then it's uh, time to say goodbye uh, on the very last mission. Thanks for sticking with me. If you enjoyed the run, leave a comment uh, down below. And again, apologies for the beam weapon breakthrough. But we gotta do that. Take care and bye-bye.